Welcome to tonight's webinar. I'm often asked by many of our baby boomers or 40 plus year old men, what can I do for erectile dysfunction? Well, in this day and age, there's plenty of things that we can do. And that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about tonight. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Birkenstock, owner of Skin Body Health in Mandeville, Louisiana and in New Orleans, Louisiana. We're also licensed in Florida and Alabama where we do a lot of beauty shows, conferences, uh, male hormone events and female hormone events. So erectile dysfunction, it comes in many different forms and varieties. You can maybe feel like, well, it, the, the male organ isn't staying as hard as long or you can feel like you're having a premature uh, ejaculation phase, um, or, or you could just feel like you're never quite getting the stamina or the um, degree of hardness that you did in the past, or it may be a, a more severe problem where it's, it's remaining soft uh, the majority of the time. Regardless of what the issue is, we have the answer for you. So there are many different procedures that we now have that actually address male hormone dysfunction and or if, if, the, if the penile organ is not performing, it could be totally related to hormones or totally unrelated to hormones. So before we do anything, we always offer the gentleman a full blood panel so that we can see exactly what might be going on. You may or may not know that some of your health care is directly involved on how the penile organ works. For example, if you've got high blood pressure or high cholesterol or diabetes or lots of vitamin and mineral deficiencies, the male organ is going to be impaired. It can get diseased and then get into a situation where it's not functioning at all or very little or just not functioning as strong and as well as it did in your younger years. So we always are going to look for diabetes because high blood sugar will absolutely impair the one main artery that goes to the penile organ. And as we know, the penile organ works through blood flow. So if something is impeding or stopping the blood flow or even reducing the blood flow, you're going to have a problem with the organ properly filling up with blood and getting it to its normal erectile state. Something else, as we mentioned, cholesterol. So when you have high triglycerides or high LDL, both of the bad cholesterols, then those cholesterol particles, uh, we'll just sort of make this a, an easy concept. We'll get into that main penile artery going to the organ and cause clogs. Well, just like cholesterol can clog a heart or a brain, it can also clog the penile artery. There's only one main artery in and one out. So we want to be very careful with our health and make sure that we are in fact taking good care of us because when we take good care of us, then we're going to make sure to help the organ work as best as it possibly can. Blood pressure is another demon. You may not feel bad from your blood pressure and you don't have to, but blood pressure is the silent killer. Not only will it harm our brain in terms of a stroke, her harm our heart and our kidneys in terms of um, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, that, that blood pressure will cause pressure to the organs and can cause a lot of damage. It will also cause damage to again that one main artery that goes in and out of the penile organ. So we're always appreciative of the guests that join us and we love to have y'all. Since this is a topic of a little bit permanent uh, uh, nature and also personal nature. If you'd like to, go ahead and text me personally at 985-727-7676. That's 985-727-7676. That number is all over our website too at skinbodyhealth.com and we're always happy to answer your questions individually. Um, please like and share our video to be entered to win our erectile dysfunction be gone vitamin bundle. So for anyone that would just like maximum male health or if you're having a little bit of a difficulty in this department, we recommend our top three 
male hormone vitamins in our erectile dysfunction be gone bundle. Zinc Prime, DHEA Boost, and Adrenal Balance. So these are three uh, uh, vitamin supplements that are going to improve the DHEA, which is one of your precursors to testosterone in the body. Zinc, which absolutely uh, uh, feeds the organs and the hormone milieu. And Adrenal Balance. So Adrenal Balance. Your adrenal glands are glands that sit above the kidneys and they do pump out sex hormones. Well, sometimes when you're overly stressed or overly worked or not getting a lot of sleep, those adrenal glands can get beat up and either A, push out way too much uh, hormone or B, push out way not enough hormone. So what the adrenal balance product does is it has adrenal adaptogens. Well, that's just a big long word for adrenal adaptogens. It tells that supplement to ask the adrenal glands to adapt to what's going on to the environment. So if your adrenal glands aren't putting out enough hormones, the adaptogens, one, uh, for example, of the main ingredients is ashwagandha, although it's chock full of other ingredients as well. So these adrenal adaptogens like ashwagandha will bring up the hormones if the adrenal gland is not putting out enough it will ask the adrenal gland to uh, bring up more or if there's too much hormone that's being forced out which could indirectly de de uh, decrease testosterone um, if it's sending out some of the testosterone precursors it'll tell the adrenal gland hey not so much already so it's, it's a, an adrenal adaptogen, sort of like a seesaw, and it will address whatever uh, state is going on in that adrenal gland. So normally this bundle runs 145. For the next month, in honor of Father's Day and all of our male guys out there, the erectile dysfunction be gone bundle will be uh, reduced down to $89. That's for all three, your DHEA boost, your adrenal balance, and your zinc prime. So all of our vitamins are very potent. They have the marking of the GMP seal of approval. Um, that's the FDA certification uh, of the uh, good uh, manufacturing standards. Like and share our video so that we can send our first five sharers a, a complete male bundle. The erectile dysfunction be gone bundle. One question just came through, do women need adrenal balance supplements? Yes, they do, for the same reasons. Women also have adrenal glands, which also produce sex hormones more in line with the female, and the adrenal adaptogens will work much in the same way. So during all the stress that we're all under, um, whether it be work, whether it be pandemic, whether it just uh, be stress at home or in relationships, Adrenal adaptogens are, you know, fabulous for both men and women. If you missed any of our previous webinars, as you know, we come on uh, at, at least uh, twice a month, a lot of times more. They can be found at our YouTube channel, which is Dr. Birkenstock's Skin Body Health. YouTube channel again, Dr. Birkenstock's Skin Body Health. Um, you can click the link in the description below and that will go directly to our store, store.skinbodyhealth.com. If you're watching us from TikTok or Instagram, um, look down in the bio and you'll see the store link there. So always a pleasure being with you guys. Today I wanted to bring on a testimonial. Mike, would you join me? Mike's had one of our, uh, a set of our actually, of our erectile dysfunction procedures. So what we do is a combination of platelet-rich plasma and exosomes, which are another form, a, a distant relative to stem cells. And we uh, place uh, those uh, or on the penile organ during the procedure, and I'll let Mike tell you what it's done for him. It's really improved my sexual function. I, I didn't really have a, I didn't think I had a problem until I got this shot and it, it really, really helped out. And um, it, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, it's just, uh, I can't say, no. say enough. I mean, yeah. And I've, I've been talking to uh, all my buddies about it and that's a topic men don't talk about. Yeah, men don't often they share. Don't. 
And and I thank my clients like Mike who are um, just so progressive enough to share with their friends because the minute you open up the topic, somebody says, yeah, I've sort of lost some of my mojo. Oh, you too, I thought it was just me. So, you know, usually anybody over the age of 40 has lost some of their power or a lot of their power or if they have some of the disease states we were talking about before, blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, they may be noticing it even more or to a, uh, you know, a bigger extent. And it's something that we can do something about. Mike, did the procedure take long? It didn't take long at all. Yeah, less than five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. And was it painful? No. No, absolutely. It was just, no. just, just a fact of having a woman doctor touching your private parts is just... Other than that, that's the most hurtful part. <laughs> <laughs> the pride part. Yeah. 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 So Mike is uh, not our only male client who has been very successful and very happy. Uh, you know, we, we treat everybody from politicians to handymans and everywhere in between, uh, husbands and, and beyond. And invariably, we have yet to have a client that haven't had either extreme improvement or an absolute removal of the problem with erectile dysfunction that they had before. So Mike, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank and you. you're brave and we appreciate you being so progressive. So share the news with everyone. We can and we do have things for erectile dysfunction now. And they're just game changers. And it, it just part of what makes life important with our partner or loved ones or whoever may be in our lives so that you can go on to enjoy romantic relationships way until the older you. Helps you lose weight too. And it does help you lose weight too. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. All right. So it was so nice speaking with you today. Again, if you've got any questions, we'll repeat the number one more time. You can text us at 985-727-7676. You can go to our website and send in a question that way as well. Um, go ahead and share, and we'll see you back in a couple of weeks when we'll be talking about Alzheimer's and what you can do naturally to improve it.